Hey yeah, in one of my previous videos I showed the Polish combination lock where the Polish inventor Zbigniew Olejnik is trying to make a lock that's unpickable. And his first attempt was pretty good but I was able to pick that. He sent a smaller lock and this is mainly just to show that the lock can be made in different sizes and that it can be turned quite easily but it's still a 3D plastic model and so the tolerances aren't very good. Uh, when the metal one comes out it's going to be really difficult to pick without lasers. What he wants me to do here is to see if I can pick it in the hand first and see if I can do it without using lasers like I did last time. Okay. Okay, here's the lock and it's locked up and it's quite small. It easily fits in my hand. Uh, this is a closed shackle one to show that it can be made like this. It can be made not a closed shackle as well, so it'll be even tinier. And I think the metal one that he's going to produce will be five wheels. There's only four wheels, just it's just a demonstration. And he what he's interested in is if I can pick this in the hand. Now the numbers here are quite hard to see on this version, but the metal version will be quite obvious. So um let me put it to uh all all zeros. Gee, it took quite a while, four weeks, for the lock to arrive to New Zealand. Gee, these wheels turn very easily, very easily. I'm glad he sorted that out. Okay, so I'm going to put zeros. Okay, one, once you put in the right combination, you turn this down. See how this turns to about five past? For this lock, it has to turn to about ten past when it's an open. At the moment, I it doesn't turn there, so I can't turn the whole wheel pack to the right and and open it like it should. So all zeros is not the combination. We know that much. What I did last time with lasers is I figured out that if one of the wheels were in the right gate, this front knob would turn ever so slightly more, and a laser attached to the knob could show that slight angle difference. So I'm going to try and pick this in the hand and I'll fast forward because it's going to take me probably a long time. So I washed my hands, putting marks on my finger to try and line it up didn't work. What I'm going to try now is a still in the hand but I'm going to try and tape a bit of cardboard with marks on it. So at the moment the first wheel is all on zeros and when I turn the knob it tends to I don't know to about the two and a half mark If I turn this to um, I'm going to turn it to two and knob tends to about one and a half mark again. So I'm going to turn it to four. Okay, it tends to about um, I don't know, even, even less, one, about the one and a bit mark. Let me turn it back to zeros and try something different. I can't turn this knob too much because there are only little plastic parts inside and I'll break them if I turn it too much. So I'm just going to turn this, okay, from both sides. A little bit harder. Um, it'll be good if I turn it to the same length, the same distance each time. Okay, so that's going to the just before the two mark. 
Yeah, let's try two. Um, did I say just before the two? Hmm. I mean the three, the third mark. That's about the same just before the third mark. I think I like zero the best. If it is zero, let's try one of the other numbers now. Okay, so. So the second wheel, I am trying two. So what I'm going to do is leave that on zero and eight. Now the next one. Okay, this is really hard because every time I move this wheel, I'm getting different perspectives. My alignments get stuffed up. Is it going just a little bit after four and zero again? So I'll keep it on zero. So I've got zero, two, zero, and now the last one. Um, oh, on the last wheel, I can't skip by going every second number. I have to try every single every single number. I forgot about that. So let's go back to this. Let's go back to this one. Oh, okay, this turns to the 10 pass, so it should open now. So this turns all the way to 10 past, and this whole thing rotates around. So I'm sure that's the, I'm sure that's the combination now, you see. So if I rip this off, you'll see the combination is 4680. Turns more than the five pass, goes all the way to the ten pass, and the whole wheel pack turns around, and then the shackle comes out. Okay, so I was on the right track, but the last two wheels were very difficult. <laughs> so going back to the older large design first, now you can see here that I've lined up all tree gates here, the outer wheels can fit on the inner wheels something like this, but interestingly not all positions are available. For example, if, if I try and make them all zeros, or all um, ones, Let, let's try and make them all ones. I'll just make sure that's all lined up for the true gates. So I want to make it one here. Okay, I can make it one, I can make it two, because there are 20 numbers and there's 20 slots going around here, so I can make it one. That's fine. But the next one, okay. I can't make it one. I can make it two. I can't make it one. I can make it two. I can't make it three. I can make it four. In fact, I can only do even numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. And that's because the number of slots available to me is only half. And it's due to this 3D printed lock. The metal one will have as many slots as there are numbers, so we won't have this problem. So for this one, I had to do all numbers, but only even numbers, only even numbers, only odd numbers, only even numbers. And if I knew that at the time when I was decoding this lock, it would have halved my time maybe, but um, it doesn't really matter because this is only a 3D printed prototype and the metal version will be all numbers for each wheel. It'll be 20, 20, 20, 20, or actually I think the metal version is going to have 10 numbers per wheel, but they're going to have five wheels or something like that, or um, maybe it's 15 numbers per wheel, I can't remember, but it won't have this limitation. But I just thought I'd show you that because I was skipping every number, every second number for this, because I knew that, that for the first one it was all the numbers, and this one was only even numbers, even numbers, and even numbers. And that's how I knew because I look at I looked at the design of this lock.